If you want to quickly be able to work on your hotkeys, set up some custom stuff in Chrome um, so that you can improve your productivity, move faster, there is a great way to do this. Sometimes you have to hunt around to find it, so I want to get in here and show you where you can do that and maybe some reasons you might want to be doing that. Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy. So like I said, if you're using Chrome, you want to come up here to your little three dots, the Customize and Control Google Chrome. Click onto that come down to extensions and manage extensions. This is gonna open up what you see in the background. You're gonna be able to see all of your extensions you have installed. You can deal with them, turn them on or off, uh, remove them, find out details, go to the page. But what we wanna talk about is over here on the left and you can click on that to then open your keyboard shortcut. So for example, we could have my productivity and goals extension. That's just the extension I wrote that shows on new tabs. If I wanted to have something to activate it to do something, then I could have that. Uh, you can see things over here for different tools I have installed, like ClickUp. If I want to capture an area as a screenshot, I can do Control Shift 2. Um, and perhaps maybe if there was going to be a conflict or something or I wanted to change it, I could come in here or I wasn't getting the functionality I expected. Um, and then capture full control shift one again, maybe that's interfering with something else. So a lot of times you may want to come in here or come up with your own. Um, and that can be really helpful again for using hotkeys can be so much faster than having to do this stuff manually or click around through multiple things to go do it, to open an extension, to do this, do that. You can just come in here and easily help yourself speed things up. So hopefully this helps you more quickly get in, manage your extensions, your keyboard shortcuts, and speed up your productivity in Chrome. If you have any questions or comments, leave it below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.